Still in the US, uh, a community in Ohio is concerned about potential long-term illnesses two weeks after a train derailed with toxic chemicals. They recently learned a new health clinic will open next week to check their symptoms as officials insist testing indicates the air and water are safe. The Norfolk Southern train derailment and toxic chemical spill in Christina Ferguson's neighborhood left her looking for answers. I want to hear that my creek is going to be clear. I want my town safe. She's not satisfied with environmental testing because she says you can smell chemicals as soon as you walk in her door. Many in her community are equally worried, even as the governor says air quality tests of more than 500 homes showed no detection of derailment contaminants. The water is safe to drink. Next week, federal and Ohio health and environmental officials will team up to examine community residents and answer any questions. The health clinic will include experts on the impacts of potential chemical exposure. Meanwhile, I'm very uh, clear when I say as long as it takes. Work continues on the cleanup. An Environmental Protection Agency document posted Wednesday said there was still potentially contaminated soil at the site. There's a continuing NTSB investigation, too. CNN obtained surveillance videos which show an apparent wheel bearing overheating. No visible spark shortly before 8 p.m. the night of the derailment. Clearly visible sparks 14 minutes later. The train derailed around 8.55. It's not clear what caused the overheating and whether it's linked to the derailment. Officials say public water is safe while well water users should stick with bottled water for now. Plenty of data, yet for many, plenty of reasons for continued concern.